them complete here in Fort McMurray, and we are set for first period action. The Kodiaks and the Oil Barons for the second consecutive night here in Fort McMurray. As mentioned, the Kodiaks will go with Carter Captain in net once again tonight to my broadcast right as they go from right to left in this opening period in their road white uniforms trimmed in red and black with the white helmets. The Oil Barons will go from left to right. They will start Noah Nelson in net. They again will be in their home blue uniforms and trimmed in white, gold, and black with the black helmets going from left to right. The referees for tonight's hockey game, Ian Bailey and Brandon Geiger. The linesman, Alex Verhege and Connor Watt. And we are set to get underway as A.J. Schaff will take the opening face off and wins it. And Marguerite gets the puck across the center ice line and dumps it in deep. And Schmidt's got it. He'll play it up ahead. Right wing side from a tumble. He'll drop it back. A goose scores. Well, as we saw last night, number 21, Danny Akush, is a dangerous player offensively, and he just showed it right there. Made no mistake beating Carter Captain low glove side. But Tumbo was tripped up, but the puck went from him right to Akush, the wrong guy to have the puck, and he buries it. And less than a minute in, 59 seconds to be exact, the Oil Barons have a one nothing lead. As Akush will get the goal from Batumbo and Carter Schmidt. And it's 1-0 Oil Barons for the second straight night. The Oil Barons score the first one. Hey, call 780-672-3051. I'm Tim Ellis. And the Oil Barons score. Not even get the time out of my mouth. I was going to say there's 11.40 left to go in this first period. But Jason Huang interrupted me and scored. And the Oil Barons have a uh, 2-0 lead. That one coming right off the faceoff. Huang's first goal of the season. And not sure who will get the assists because I did not really see what was uh, going on there. Trying to check my paper. That's what happens. So the All Barons again for the second straight night have a 2 nothing lead here. Here's Kwasnick. Brings it to center, then lost it. And Ivan Yusik comes back down the left wing side. He'll shovel it across, walking right in, shot, they score! Oh, a couple of more firsts for the Kodiaks as Tyson Murray scores his first goal in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. And in his first game as a Kodiak, Justin Ivanusik has a point. What a lovely pass. And Murray finishes it off. And the Kodiaks get back into this hockey game again with 6.54 remaining. It's 2-1. to one. The Kodiaks power play. Larkin now to Lazinski. Here's Sam Lazinski, speeding down the left wing side. Lazinski, a pass across, Tarnoff walks, it's goals! They do it again in the power play, and Ludovic Tarnoff has his first goal of the season on a lovely pass. And we got ourselves a tie hockey game again, 2-2. And... Just like a carbon copy of game one last night, Oil Barons get off to a 2-0 lead. Kodiaks tie the game eventually in a power play in the second period. And we got ourselves a 2-2 hockey game. Left wing side, puts on the brakes. Now trying to find his way through a maze of Oil Baron players. Dishes it off, Alonzo shot in front to Masters. Tardif scores! A pair of power play goals for Ludovic Tardif. And the Kodiaks have their first lead of the night. Tardif, Johnny on the spot to pick up the loose puck. Alonzo and Masters in on the play as well. The puck bouncing around. Tardif puts it home. And it's 3-2 Kodiaks. 
That came with 12 seconds left in the Oil Barons' fourth power play of the game. And the Kodiaks now two for four with the man advantage. Backhands it along the boards, kept in. Near side, Schneider a big hit, that's going to be a penalty. As Hawang goes down, Schneider puts up the arms like, what the heck do you want me to do? Hawang gets back up, he's okay, and he'll head to the bench. Schneider heads to the penalty box. The penalty kill is brought to you by Amp Contracting, supporting your residential, commercial, and agricultural electrical needs for over 10 years. Back Back to Beagle, shot blocked. And now back comes Akush. Left wing side, into Camrose territory. Akush can't get a shot away. Eventually it did go to the net, but it was stopped. And now in front, Captain's down. He's lost his stick. And the Kodiaks are going to come to Fort McMurray, win a pair of games, and sweep the Oil Barons to go 2-0-1 to start the regular season. The IPEC Homes Post Game Show coming up next from the Home Time Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiaks Hockey on New Country 98.1 FM.